What is up guys, this is Enigma here back with the 6th episode of our coding tutorial. Today I'll be going over Nuker and maybe another feature if we've got time. So quickly, we're going to make a new boolean in our uh, fact, the, the toggle class, I guess you could call it, public static boolean Nuker equals false. Do a check key if check key keyboard dot key the dash v. I'll use that. Sorry, make sure that's all capitals. Mods dot nuker equals exclamation mods dot nuker. Um, I'm kind of rushing through this because we all know how to do these toggles. Considering you've watched all of my tutorials, which I hope you have, um, let's just change these variables around. Right, so now that you've got your toggle in place, you want to go to your package explorer, net.minecraft.src, and open up Entity Client Player MP. Now, what you want to find, you want to find on update. And then in here, what we're going to type in is if mods.nuker. Um, so if Nuker is oh what is going on? Hmm. I mean if mods dot nuker. So if nuker is enabled, what we want to do is we make a byte. We'll call it B zero, and we'll set that to equal to three. And we're going to do three for statements that are um I guess they're called embedded for statements or a nested for statement. For int a equals b zero to a is greater than b uh, negative b zero a minus minus. Now we'll decrement a, and then we want to do an R for statement in here. And this time it's the exact same, except it's int b is equal to b zero b is greater than negative b0 and b decremented by 1 um, I think I lost my space here and then we're going to do one final one and it's going to be for c this time so int c is equal to b0 to c is greater than negative b0 and c decrement by 1 now what we want to do um, this is kind of the tricky part, or most annoying part, really. It's just trying to follow along here, basically. Um, so we want to say int a1 is equal to open up a couple of casts and type in int in this one, and just outside of it, mc dot the player dot pause x plus double a. Mm. Right, sorry, we need an R cast here. One thing, one at the end. Just like that. So it's all of this is in casts, basically. And that's basically just so it recognizes it as a one function. And then basically do the same for B1 equals. And then int, and then inside these brackets, mc dot the player dot pause x plus double, and outside of it b. Int c one equals int 
mc.diplayer.pos uh, Z, sorry, this one is pos Y. Um, this one is pos Z. And it's plus double C. There we go. Now, what we want to type in is int bid, short for block ID, is equal to mc dot the world dot get block ID and the parameters or the um, coordinates are basically uh, the coordinates surrounding a player so that would be A1 uh, B1 and C1 Now what we want to do is we want to make we're going to say block block is equal to block dot block list and square brackets and inside these square brackets that uh, it's going to look for block ID and it's going to say basically store store the variable block as the block ID um, and that is going to be B I D, which is obtained through the block dot block list. Oh, sorry, blocks list. Blocks list. Um. Then that will assign block to whatever the surrounding blocks are of the player. And then basically, what we're going to do next is check to see if it's empty. So if there's no blocks there, if block does not equal null so if there is something there then I want you to basically destroy it and for that we need to do a couple of packet commands so open up a couple of parentheses to type an entity client player mp mc dot the player dot send q dot add to send q q u e u e new packet fourteen block dig. And basically, the arguments for this one is zero, comma a one b one. C1 1 and then basically do the same thing for this next one let me scroll down a bit so you can also see so it's entity client player mp mc dot the player dot send q u e u e dot add to send q u e e e e u e e u blah 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 you know what I'm saying new packet 14 block dig and this time it's 2 comma a1 comma b1 comma c1 one and that's you done that's absolutely everything done um so now that we've got that we can save all and we can test it now, this is only 10 minutes so i guess i will do another command i'm not sure what though um, i might do a fast break um so we want a single player and we'll load our world. I did do this tutorial before but the code was messy so I decided I would find a way to neaten it up. And then I re-recorded it so the code's quite compact as well or you can see really that's all there is to it. Uh, not a lot at all if you ask me. 
Right, so this is us. This is Nuka. You can see it literally does what it says in the tin. It's really destructive everywhere you walk, it will just devour it. Um, it's a bit picky in directions, like you can see. Basically, it's a little bit off centered, but um, it should be fine. I'll try and figure out why that is, and when I find out, I'll um, put an annotation. But for now, it works. That's the main thing. Right, so what was I said I was going to do? I think it was um, block speed. Um, so I'm going to go to search and I'm going to find um, block health, I think. Or block damage. Block damage. Or block dama, whatever. They search this. It should come up in a uh, a file called like I think it's I think it may even be packet fourteen block dig. I'm not sure, but it should be um and something like that. So let's just give this a second to um, do its do its shiz. Let me see. It, I think it's an player controller MP. So let's open that up and we'll go down a bit. Hmm. Let me see what is that. Um, Sorry about that, I was just um, looking around for the actual place where it's like the damage block, but it's actually just right here, so what we need to type in is f um, mods dot, oh, we've not even set up a variable for it, so let's just put that in quick, public static Boolean FP for a shot for a fast break. Oh, no, that's actually speed main SM equals false. And we'll quickly do draw string SM. I like to have it as Y for some reason. That's speed main. And we'll set this to 100. Exact same thing here. Um, mods dot nicker is dot mods dot sm y equals speed main. Change that to hundred, and we'll do our check key. Key 
Y SM SM Right and That's not even an error Right, so um, now that we've got that, we want to open up player controller MP and go to on player dot block damage, and then we want to say if mods dot sm, we want to type in block hit delay equals zero. So that's basically saying if speed means on, there's no delay between breaking blocks. And right here where it says block for six blah 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 for five, we want to make a new line under that. And then we want to type in um f mods.sm and this is basically the damage. This is what kind of damage is done to the block. And then we're just gonna post that in there and accept this time we're going to put a multiplier on it at the end here and I'm going to multiply it by 3 I wouldn't recommend going over that though, that's a bit overkill um, and then we're just going to add our else statement and we can add a body to it but that's not really necessary I don't think since it's only one function just post that right in there Okay, um, that's us pretty much done for this tutorial, I believe. So let's just check this out. Dum 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 dum. We need to go into survival mode to check it, obviously. But if I just get myself some tools, right? Um, what is that? I change it to Y. You can see that's pretty overkill, and this has not got efficiency on it. It's just a plain old shovel. There you go. You can see it will pretty much insta break blocks. Now obviously there will be a delay in servers, but that's that's expected. But they will break eventually on servers. Just like if you if you hit it and it disappears and it reappears, it will break within a couple of seconds. Don't worry. That's just how it works. Anyway, that's your fast break, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please re leave a rating. Um, here's a little and also a little. Um, showcase of Nuker working in survival mode with a pickaxe. I'm just breaking all the dirt up there. But you can see it just basically tears right through the the blocks. There you go. It's useful for griefing bases, really. Um, that's just about it for this video um, and if you've got any questions please um, leave a comment um, leave a thumbs up and yeah if you have any suggestions um, if any uh, hacks you would like me to make or make a tutorial um, just leave a comment as I said um, any feedback is appreciated and it's, I've been up all night so uh, I'm going to get to sleep pretty soon here and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.